Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog once more here on Mog's Cast, playing some more Project Zomboid with you folks today. And it looks like Matthew Smith is a—he's he's on the starving end of things today. So why don't we just grab him a few things real quick to eat up? Oh, let's see. Let's take some ice cream, and munch on that, I suppose. Up, oh, leeks went rotten. That's great. And our broken baseball bat—that's something we gotta address too, isn't it? So let's see. I guess we have a few things that I could have put away. Um, in fact, why don't I just go ahead and do that real fast? And we'll come back in just a minute once I get all this organized. Okay, and we're back. Um, I've repaired our baseball bat, uh, nail bat, and I've also gone ahead and uh, put away pretty much everything that we had on us. We still carry in our extra bag, but we don't really uh, we don't have it equipped right now, so might as well toss this back in the main bag. What I need to do, though, is get rid of these leaks, these rotten leaks, toss them in the trash can. Okay, so uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, keep pushing on into like the neighborhoods, kind of to the, I guess this is the west, is what I'm considering uh, this direction. The west up this way to the top left corner of the screen, that's what I'm calling west. What's up, zombie? Get off me. Okay, so yeah, we're going to keep pushing. We're going to uh, kind of explore a little bit more this direction. You know, I've really kind of focused kind of toward the downtown area. Uh, but I really should be kind of exploring these neighborhoods because they're, they're pretty close and they can have a lot of good supplies there as well. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, provided we can make it through without seeing too many zombies, we should be okay. Got a little bit of a panic going. Let's go ahead and just run past these guys. Get out into a little bit more clear here in the uh, fields. Wow, this might be a terrible idea. Jeez, there's a lot of them around here. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, we're just going to go ahead and take it nice and easy and try to lose these guys first and foremost. You know, what might be seriously beneficial is to possibly, like, a little further into town here is create some sort of a, uh, like, another safe house, like a secondary safe house. Somewhere that we can, uh, we can hold up, hide out, and uh, clear out some enemies if need be. It's two down. That, that should break our initial eye line of sight there. Let's see if we can keep this going. Um, we whoa, that was that was a little scary. It came up and went right around the corner just past me. Okay, we've got a few more zombies here that are gonna spot us. Um, that's okay. We're gonna keep moving. Uh, why don't we pop some beta blockers to reduce that panic just a little bit? Take it easy, Matthew Smith. You're good, buddy. You've done this before. You're good. There you go. Just take it nice and easy. We're going to walk it along. Hopefully not make as much noise, attract as much attention from any of the zombies nearby. This looks a little safer, a little more spread out as far as an uh, area we've already cleared. So let's keep moving this direction. we got one in the backyard there that we can see who's just seen us. We've got two more look up there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one out first. And one coming up behind us. Finish her off. Check around real quick. That's some good. Another one there walking this direction. That should be okay. These two, at least one of them has just seen us. Let's finish him off. Clear him out of here. Where's that other one? Maybe not coming actually at us. It's two down. Oh yeah, she stopped right over there. Okay. Let's take a quick peek at these since we got a moment. We can snag some vitamins. I suppose we might as well. Oh, gunshots. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait until we actually have NPCs in this game. That we, oh, with the way it used to be, occasionally you'd stumble across NPCs. They didn't do much, but it was really cool to actually see other survivors rummaging through houses and walking around. You could talk to them a little bit, uh, but there wasn't much you could do with them at the time. Trash can, empty bottle. We'll take that. Thank you. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and pop this window if we can. See if we can jump on in here. There we go. Let's check around. Hopefully no alarm goes off with this. Close that up. Let's pop that door. Unlock it for ourselves. Ah, uh, nice. We got some canned goods and dry food. Let's take those. Dog food and another garbage bag. Perfect. That's actually great news for me. Let's close that. Um, I've been really wanting to collect more. Oh, a full kettle. Interesting. It's going to be a little heavier for us, but uh, it'll be worth bringing back, I suppose. We could dump it out. Save some weight. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to pour into water bottle. Cool. Pour on ground. Let's just get rid of it. We should probably be checking this house uh, first and foremost before we do anything too crazy, and that is exactly why we do have an enemy in here. One zombie. That's good. Oh, one just hurt us at the window there, so why don't we just go ahead and let him in? Yeah, come on in here. Down you go. 
close that and why don't we close those curtains this looks pretty well secure at this point uh, we're definitely gonna want to check the back rooms though first as well in bathrooms let's see nothing there how about the bedroom looking clear good how about the closet I've actually been attacked in closets before it's kind of freaky you have like no room to maneuver so you just gotta wail on them okay we'll stay a flashlight uh, golf club damage is kind of sh like crappy compared to uh, compared to the baseball bat and other things that we have abundance of so we're not gonna worry about that too much uh, don't really need anything there let's take a look back in the in the area here and see what else we can find we've already been through there uh, we can definitely take this stuff that's always a positive finding some more food another kettle this one's empty let's take it and some sugar there was tea in that last uh, thing I saw but uh, that's fine we can grab that not the tote bag thank you sugar instant popcorn dog food chips is that gonna do it let's see Ooh, we got some coffee and a tea bag and some tuna that's a that's a nice one seriously getting all this uh, this all this dry good and canned goods is great that is a huge boon for us we definitely want to stock up on that stuff so that we're not running low in the future uh, when they start shutting off the electricity and all of our stuff in the fridges just start, start going bad that would never be good some egg and processed cheese we'll snag those the radish has gone bad so I'm not too worried about that let's take a look in here real quick school pants and a skirt don't need them school bag pants and a skirt that is why don't we pop this front door take a quick peek around what up down you go buddy lock that behind us or at least close it behind us that is double check around us what else do we got around here not too much let's finish this lady off before the other one in the driveway gets to us there we go oh, we didn't finish you off good thing that we noticed okay pistol we're not gonna grab we have enough of them and I don't use them all that often a big hiking bag you know what I am gonna take that and get rid of our normal hiking bag because I just don't need it let's toss it on there the big hiking bag is definitely better what's up boom down he goes we could probably stand to eat uh, that wouldn't be a bad thing but I want to kind of finish up and scout just a bit more if I can push it on there's a few more zombies here nothing too crazy I don't see any inside even though they've definitely broken that window this door is unlocked that we may have already been here and based on the open doors pretty much everywhere I'm going to go ahead and say that's a safe bet let's grab these bath towels though since they can be used to dry you off if you get wet always a plus helps keep you from getting sick so that's something I would advise is always make sure you got a good stockpile of uh, towels and such bananas bad butter carrots are bad eggplants bad onion is surprisingly good so are the oranges rotten peas but we're gonna take those pickles okay uh, pepper we, I, I feel like I've got enough pepper for how little I actually use it um, I, I really don't cook that often I've never terribly figured out the cooking system it's probably one of those things that I should really look into because it's simple and it would keep us from getting all bummed out when we're making food and eating that crappy stuff like just just basic food just gets really boring and it's, it makes your character sad because you're not you're not having any variety or interesting meals you're just eating straight up just basic foods kind of sucks and I can understand but uh, I haven't really put in the time and effort to learn it to be quite honest um, or at least I haven't really understood what people have told me about it because like I've read about it on the Wikipedia and such but it just isn't worded that well and I don't entirely understand it it just shows like item plus item plus heat source kind of a thing and I, I I don't entirely get it like are you supposed to just toss like eggs and like everything else into like an oven and just call it good well that's a close sound there I was gonna say that sounded really close to us but there wasn't anybody inside so right at the door there is certainly where it was let's go ahead and just run back out and ah the spin and hit any other enemies around us I think we're pretty clear just right now let's close this for a moment I want to take a, a just a sec to grab something out of our bag to eat and I think we just attracted an enemy but where that's the question not there how about back here I guess we're not gonna take a chance to eat just yet I want to attract the attention of these zombies and finish them off before they get too close to us what's up lady die Okay, we're good there. Those ones are cleared out, but let's see back here. I'm pretty sure is where we have our next zombie attack. Maybe back here? Where was the pouting coming from, I wonder? Well, that's cool. We're just going to go ahead and clear out around this house a little bit. Give ourselves a little bit of a buffer of clear space. Sounds good to me. Let's double check real quick all our corners. 
open doors and things like that, make sure that nobody's kind of been tromping through here. I wonder if they came in through the bedroom. Sure doesn't look like it. Okay, we're good. Okay, like I was saying, we're gonna go ahead and take a sec here to uh, grab some food out. What can we eat? Why don't we just go ahead and eat an onion? And an orange. And a pickle. With some cheese? Sure. Thirst and happiness. Definitely aren't a little happy, so let's go ahead and drink this whiskey, shall we? See what happens. Whiskey is drunk. We get an empty whiskey bottle, I'm pretty sure. Where is an empty bottle? I think that's the one. And we are we are utterly shit faced, is what it's telling me. I don't entirely know what that does. Let's see. Is it you and me against the world? I love you. I love you. Utterly shit face is the is the thing there, but I don't entirely know uh, what that actually does to our character. Let's take a look, actually, and see what if anything in here's changed. Drunk, light drinker. Oh, that's why I'm utterly drunk because I took the light drinker trait. Um, does anybody know what uh, sort of things happen when you become drunk? Like, I don't see any sort of downside to this. It doesn't really tell us, but it's in the red, so. I assume it would mean something. We're doing okay. Otherwise, we're definitely getting a little sleepy. So, uh, you know what? I think we're going to call it here for uh, for the adventure tonight. Why don't we just go ahead and get back to Twiggy's bar? We're going to go ahead and make the run. We are utterly shit-faced. I really hope that doesn't affect us too much on the run back. I wonder if it messes with your peripheral or... It seems like I've actually got pretty wide uh, perception radius here. Our peripheral vision, that is. And... I'm pretty sure we're looking good. We got some zombies up ahead and walking down the roads, but nothing has really been attracted to us too heavily just yet, except for that one right there. That's, uh, of course, what happens when I jinx myself talking about not being having any attention on us. So we're just going to sprint over to the fence, climb it over, try to lose these guys with the obstacle there of the fence. Is this? This is that garage I've seen in the past. So we're on the right track, of course. Keeping it moving going past the pharmacy. That might be a good place to check out one of these days, but I feel like we're doing pretty good on pills and all that. And Spiffo's, the restaurant, which honestly uh, means we are quite close to Twiggy's Bar. If, you've, if you haven't noticed from the past episodes, this is pretty much a nice little landmark to know that we're getting close and back on the right track. So okay, we got a little tired there, and we're still definitely quite tired. Uh, we got a little exhausted, that was. But we are almost home, so no big deal there. I think, turn in, yep, there's our fire pit and all of our lumber production still laying down. I really need to spend a day. In fact, I'm probably going to spend a, a day in-game, not recorded, just uh, going through and uh, working on the place a little bit, kind of getting everything cleaned up. Did I just hear a zombie? I just sworn I heard a zombie. Come on, zombies, where are you? We good? I think we're good. Because I have yet to finish the wall back there. Um, so I think I am going to spend a little bit of time working on that in probably the next day for Matthew Smith here. I'm not going to record it, but I'm just going to spend a little time working on it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope you liked what you saw. And maybe you learned a little thing, and maybe if you could teach me a thing or two, drop it in the comments below. Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers.